Hello! Today we're going to be sharing an incredibly funny story that happened which led to my friend utter demise which led him to buy this figure and me to walk away with happiness from buying this figure. So let's get started. So anyways, these are the two figures we picked up that day. His, Aizawa in sleeping bag and my, Piccolo. So. Both of us actually have the Funko app, and as anybody knows, if you see an expensive figure for a cheap price, you gotta grab it. So, why did he not pick up this figure? Wait, what time did we go? So, let's begin. Number one, I arrived at Simply Toys at 3. He that went there at 4. Oh yeah, it was the same Simply Toys. Yeah, it's the exact same Simply Toys, same place at Plaza Singapura. And also this not Gary, this is uh, Oil Man. Okay. I don't think we can see in the picture, but... So, I went there, I went into the store, I walked around for a bit, found a few good characters, and then I settled on Piccolo, because I already have Willy over here. I already had him, even though I saw him in the set. He also actually saw him, the 91 freaking dollar figure, which is more expensive than this, but he didn't pick it up for the sole purpose of not wanting to copy his friend. I think you can see where this is going. So, after purchasing the figure and left, he arrived and picked up this figure. No, I didn't pick up this figure. I thought it was the last figure I picked up. So, number one, when he went in there, he scanned almost a lot of figures. He scanned a lot and a lot and a lot of the figures there. But the problem was is that when he found the Piccolo and he wanted to scan it, you should tell it for yourself. Uh, the data, like... It was gone, basically. Yes. Just... His data ran out. It didn't run out, it was like... It literally just disappeared. And he scanned the figure three more times. And after that, he just didn't try to scan it. Later, he found more figures and tried <laughs> to and scan them and he actually worked. So, knowing that knowledge, what did you do with the Piccolo? Put it back and not scan it again because he thought that there was no way it was gonna work again so he got Aizawa $49 pop okay and it's pretty sad about that because the fact that he actually could have had such a good figure and yet at the same time literally had be screwed over by his Wi-Fi or his data. data. He got screwed over by the data. He got ripped. He got a 49 figure and I got an 84. So let's unbox these figures and show it off. I think we already unboxed them on what? the last video, but. We can watch the last video. video to see a clearer version. But. Okay. So here is him in still in the insert. I'm gonna carefully remove him. And let me put the box inside. There we go. This is Piccolo. Pretty sick character. He's the NYCC for exclusive. And this is Shoto Aizawa in a sleeping bag. He was worth he's worth $49 and is an FYE exclusive, but I have no idea how he did. This is heavier than all the other figures in his set. Yeah. He has a pretty dense figure because it's all it's one piece. Like if you look closely, even at the hair area, it's just one mold. It's one mold, the face, the eyes, the body, there's no head turning mechanism at all. It's just a solid piece of vinyl. Meanwhile, we have Piccolo. His head turns and yeah, it's pretty hollow. It's pretty light as well. And what's more is that he's on a stand, so he can't really stand up by himself. But this guy has better design. And this one has more value. Which one is more better? You you tell in the comments. I don't have common sense on. Oh yeah, we left common sense. You choose by yourself. Which yes. is better? The cheaper the cheaper forty nine dollar figure. We, we probably will have an icon right here, but if we don't have I don't well, know. I can't set them up. So who do you so which do you think is better? 
Shoto Aizawa in the sleeping bag, $49. However, he calls it better because it looks better in design. Or Hikolo, $84. DBZ, pretty old, pretty nice figure, I must say, especially with the standing and the color variation. This one is what? Uh, a few solid colors, dense in the center. Uh, yeah, this one is definitely the better one. So you can choose this in your voting. No, choose it. This one is better because it is much more heavier and it is very and it's very sleek. So you can bring it anywhere you want. You can't put it in your pocket. You you, you can show me. <laughs> show the viewers. I know. You actually can. That's a stupid big pocket. <laughs> I I can't show the viewers because of this. Stand up. Jeez. It's actually inside. Pull it out, pull it out. <laughs> it's very sleek. And also, uh, the design is very cool. So, choose mine, not his. You still, Please. You still want mine. I'll give you one grain of rice. You're not Asian. <laughs> I mean, I'm from Afghanistan. I'm not from Singapore at all. I, I, I flew here by airport. The fact that I'm getting... Nah, bro. They ain't gonna believe you. <laughs> uh, I flew here by airport. Literally, the airport flew. <laughs> Anyways, that's gonna be it. Uh, I'll see you guys when I see you and make another video. Probably the next video is probably us gonna go Funko Pop hunting. No, or... it's probably on the mystery one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't spoil that one. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today. I'll see you next time and the Funko Pop of the day. I don't know if I actually should do this considering that there's Funko Pop of the day is this guy. No. <laughs> it's gonna be Hini, the 2016 exclusive. It, it. It's the Pop Life figure, $40, pretty nice. He's also dressed up as the Joker and fun fact about Hedy, Secret Base is an artist and Hedy is one of the creations. And Funko just decided, eh, why not? Just make him. And he's one of the two pop like figures I have. And the other one is Hank up here. But that's gonna be all. And bye. Bye bye.